Welcome to Hornbill TV. I'm Lishni Jesse. It's 50th year at its premises in Dipubar, Chumikudima. On March 5th, with Minister of PhD, Jacob Jimomi gracing the occasion as chief guest. Jimomi, while addressing the gathering, said that the institution which consists of the orphanage and a school is not only providing basic necessities, but also providing education to the children, which will help them in the future. Saying that only few schools in the state have such a responsibility of providing shelter and food, the minister felt that celebrating 50 years is a milestone in the history of the institution and its family. Let's have a look at the details with our reporter, Esther. This is a very unique institution with the blessings from the Almighty and the well-wishers. And I can assure you that as we prepare our children who are enrolled in this school, as said earlier, not only you are providing shelter, food, and basic amenities to them, but you're also preparing them, giving them education so that they grow in full capacity and face the challenges in life that they may confront as they grow up. The youth today is the greatest strength of a country and so is the state of Nagaland. We have a high percentage of youth force. We are preparing them to face the challenges of the modern day society so that they become self-reliant but I, our primary focus is that we impart to them good education because education will be our greatest asset, their greatest asset as they grow up. As you can see, the world is scientifically moving ahead. Sharp age technology. Every day there is upgradation in the usage of technology, which you all are aware as children and as parents. And therefore, this is one area we have to focus. We cannot ignore the basic subjects. I want to contribute from the Local Area Development Fund for the infrastructural development of this institution. So I am going to, I have earmarked rupees 5 lakhs from the State Local Area Development Fund for Nagaland Children's Home School. Being a layman, he saw the field the soil that already ripe, fully ripe. So he gave Jesus the people of Konya people who never knew. And from there, his first son was born. And he named his son Senkap. It means, Senkap means the, from the Konya language. Today, his son, his daughter, his daughter, 
His granddaughter become the director of this school. We're here with the chairman of the Nagaland Children's Home in Dipupar, uh, Mr. S. K. Kenye. And uh, sir, we want to know, uh, 50 years it has uh, been and then the school. So which came first, the school or the orphanage, sir? Actually, in the same year. Hmm. Because initially we started at uh, uh, orphan home, but a home without education become a problem. So side by side, the school also immediately introduced along with the home to give uh, basic education hmm, to the children. Uh, what would be the, uh, in what matter would you be using, the, uh, utilizing the money for? Actually, just now I have told the minister, it's a God gift that uh, uh, one, because the most important thing we require now is upgradation of the infrastructure. Students are there, because uh, it's near here and it's the middle of the village, and the Hoba, you know, is one of the next to Barabostia, the Hoba is one of the biggest villages. So the student intake is there. But when we cannot, when we take more students, then expansion of the classrooms, infrastructure become a must. So last time we had a serious discussion about the matter. But to organize Nantan Lago is a big issue. And we never discuss the matter with him also because uh, he has gracefully come to dress so we don't to bring out any of our problem also. But uh, God has spoken to him that uh, he has uh, committed the, uh, you know, uh, for the infrastructure requirement, we are very happy about it. Yeah. And sir, uh, how many students are there altogether, and uh, approximately what's the percentage of students that are orphans? You see, we have about 500 students, and as of now, about 80, 80 are orphans. So this 80, you see, uh, are free of tuition, free of uh, fooding, uh, lodging. Uh, but somehow, since we have a general student about 500, that way we realize fees from them. But comparatively, we will find that ours is the cheapest, the lowest uh, fee structure in Dimapur. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. That was uh, the chairman of Nagaland's Children's Home, SK Kenye, who just told us that uh, out of 500 students, 80 are orphans and are studying here. And uh, even outside, uh, general students are also allowed to study at the school over here. This was the 50th year celebration of uh, the Nagaland Children's Home. And uh, Mr. Jacob Zimomi, the Minister of PhD, also graced the occasion as chief guest. Reporter Esther with camera person Wong for Hornbill TV.